Dr. Magnifico and Shannon and Marvin. Marvin is a little over eight months old. He's an intact German Shepherd. And he came in today because of ears. So every German Shepherd, almost every German Shepherd in the world has allergies and we see a lot of ears. And oh, by the way, could you trim his nails because he doesn't like to have his nails trimmed. So I asked the question, well, what does that mean? Like, what does doesn't like mean? And he, and he said, well, when he sees the clippers, when he sees the trimmers, he goes running away. And I say to him, this is not a democracy. He doesn't get to vote. Why does he decide that he doesn't need to have his nails trimmed? And I got a lot of laughing, like this nervous laughter. Um, you know, I, I understand that Marvin doesn't like to have his nails trimmed. Like most dogs do not like to have their nails trimmed. But the idea that you have to come to the vet to get your nails trimmed because his parents can't do it at home it has me very concerned, especially when we're eight months old and especially when we're a German Shepherd. Um, in my opinion, this is a behavior issue. This is a, a lack of conditioning because we haven't been restraining. He gives a lot of the typical stuff. He's not outwardly aggressive and he's not outwardly, um, yeah. And he's not outwardly aggressive, but all of this licking is all nervous energy. All of this moving around is nervous energy. This is a dog who, if you push too far, you will get growling. And then if you push further, you will get biting. And then once you get your first bite, then everybody's going to worry about it um, after that. So he, he, you know, his dad says, well, he's a puppy. He's got lots of energy. Well, being a puppy and having lots of energy is normal. Giving him enough exercise so that he doesn't take that nervous energy and turn it into um, an anxiety issue or behavioral issue is super important. The other thing is, if you have to put a muzzle on these dogs to get them used to getting their nails done, then that's important. And he says, well, I sit on the couch, I play with his nails, I take out the clippers, but the minute I try to use the clippers, he runs away. Well, running away, you know, means, <laughs> means that you have more to do. Um, so I told his dad that I was gonna do this video because I honestly don't know how he's gonna react. Uh, but I have some pretty gut feelings. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put a muzzle on him. Shannon's gonna try to hold him and we're gonna see what happens when we try to do the nails. Nails are super important. Everybody, I just, five minutes ago, I just did a video on Bubba, a 12 week old puppy who's going to be like this, except that Bubba's already growling. So we're gonna see what happens um, with Marvin. Eight months old, German Shepherd, unneutered, that you know might be something we talk about later, um, but we're gonna see how he do. So. Wish us luck and you get to witness it firsthand. Hello. Okay, muzzle first. So ideally, we're gonna see if we can get him to sit down. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not talking. I'm not arguing, I'm not letting go. I'm not asking permission, you're okay. We're gonna get to a point where we can do it safely and we're gonna be relaxed. We're also in a corner, which is important. You can't go any further back. So that leaves up and over, there's only two options. Okay, you're okay, you're okay. So that's the first thing. We're now in a corner, we got the muzzle on and we're trying to get him to relax because I don't want to put the muzzle on one time and never be able to put it on another time. Okay, he needs his ears looked at. I think the ears are the least of his problems. Can you get me at that otoscope over there? Yeah. It's okay, we're okay. We're okay, we're okay. We're okay. Stop, 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 stop. You're okay. You're okay. So the ears are actually fine. So this is an eight-month-old dog. 
They're going to be like this, so I got one chance at eight months. And then the next time I see this dog in another year, he's not going to come in the building. He's going to put muzzle on. Stop. 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 You're all right. 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 So it's not that he runs away. It's that he just doesn't talk. <laughs> This is my dog goes completely ballistic when you try to trim the nails. This is all fear. So it's time to go back to basic training. It's time to try some medication. And it's time to get this dog more comfortable because this is going to be an unpleasant experience today and a complete disaster tomorrow. Right, Shannon? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go send this to his dad and see what he thinks. And then hopefully he's not mad at me and thinks that I did this because I did not do this. And I'm not trying to make this worse for him. I'm trying to figure out what his triggers are, where they are at. And then we're going to try to figure out how to work around them. If you have any questions about this or anything else, you can find me at Jairus Colvett or ask me a question on Polly.com. This dog needs some help. <laughs> medically and emotionally we have to start getting him so he's not so afraid thanks so much to his dad if he lets me share this bye <laughs>